think this is where he attacks the Kimura. She remembers the Jitsu. Yep. Oh, there we go. Goes and locks the Kimura. Turns on the side. Oh, everything's right. Keeps his keeps okay. his opponent's hand behind his back. The only thing is kind of the legs. I right. mean, he's, he's locked in a half guard kind of a way. Right. Whereas he would want to have his right leg either on top of Rhino's back or in like a close guard, mm -hmm. right? It's a bit of a slugfest there in the beginning right. yeah. until he kind of remembers the techniques right. that, that Rhino taught him and then he right. counteracts with some jujitsu. jitsu a slugfest. A exactly. Same word. I think now he, he flashbacks, right? Right, I think that's... Goes in for a fake and... They think he's lost it, he comes in for the counter right. and he dodges. Right, so has like his hands up and everything. So there's like a level change yeah, here, right? Level changes, goes in for the head and arm. And then he goes into like a sort of osorogari, like a judo throw. Right. Head and arm, boom. Yeah. So that's like, if you look at that and you break down this technique, it's a pure on... Um, it's like a judo like throw, I mean, I, usually in judo you'd have a sleeve and a collar grip. There he kind of goes for the, as you can see, as the, the arm in triangle. Right. Like an arm triangle and he goes for Osorogari throw, mm. tripping the legs and then putting all his body weight forward. Right. So not bad. Is there something like when you look at this technique, is there something where, you're, where you feel like it's off? Uh, I mean, it's not bad. He's just leaning forward and then tripping the leg, which is okay. kind of basic, but it, it's a, in a way an Osorogari, but he trips both legs instead of the one. Mm. Still, it's... So it's, a, it's pretty like well-made yeah, well yeah. technique, right? Yeah. Because you know, oftentimes when, when, you, when you see action scenes, it's often at this lousy technique, yeah. and this seems like pretty well done. Yeah, and he's, he's going all, all body weight forward, mm. throwing him off balance and then kicking the legs up. Nice. Pretty, pretty solid work, Aaron. He did let go of the arm triangle there. He had, right. he had a nice deep arm triangle in there. He could have squeezed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, he let reality, go of it. In reality, that's like a dominating position where you could actually yeah. get a submission, right? Yeah, he had the, had the arm across, blocking mm. both bloodlines and uh, Mm. Pretty solid choke, but he let go for some reason. Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess you can't blood choke a titan. Yeah, right. He's probably not getting much blood to the True. to the brain cells, so That's it could true. be the pressure. Right. But he still could have created a lot of pressure with the head and arm choke. Right. Should not have let go, but he's in mount. He's still he's still in dominant position there. Okay. Is that like a, I'm looking? Is that like a knee on belly, or is that more like a? He, he kind of has swing? both knees pinched together. We'll see, I guess. But I, okay. he's on top of him in like. Going in for the grounded pound. Yeah. Boom. That's just like, it's like a, a, the push was more like a, just a sort of like just brute force right, kind of so beginner yeah. rollover, but like you can you can put it like an upa, like a, where you rotate right. over from mount into mm. should end up in close guard. Mm. But he he brutes through sort right. of like a beginner there, which leads him to ending up in a triangle choke. So right. lesson That's learned, runner. So not good technique, right? Not a great one. He leaves the he leaves the elbows out. Mm. He this one's in, this one's out, leading to what will happen, a triangle, which mm. is a good counter technique by okay. by Aaron there. Right. This could yeah. this could happen. I mean everyone who's ever had mount has right. had this happen. Right. Some strong most often a beginner will brute force you through and end up in close cut, right? Mm. If you're good enough, you'll, you're gonna catch him like Aaron did in a triangle, which everyone has had, had happen, right? You, yeah. you had that happen. Absolutely. You have mount and the guy just full on bridges. That's actually how I lost my first competition. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Got caught in triangle? Yeah, yeah. Oof. And arm bar. He has a weird, weird angle there for the arm bar, but right. in a What's way... weird about it? As you can see, the elbow is turning upwards, so he's not gonna finish the, the arm from this position, but he has the triangle locked in. Mm. Just needs to kind of grab onto the head, pull him in tighter. Reiner's keeping good, good posture. Right, head up. Head up, keeping distance. So Aaron would have to pull him in now. You can see his, his legs are not locked in a full-on triangle yet. Mm. That shoulder break is though suspicious, right? There's it's no bit, it's a bit, It's a bit suspicious, suspicious. I mean, we don't know the, the gravity of their strength. Right. But in a way, like, he's kind of just put, push, put like, putting both legs together and then squeezing out, which right. creates pressure. Right. But I doubt thought it would be enough pressure to kind of break the Right, and it's really shoulder. not on the shoulder, it's more on the elbow pressure, right? It's a, it's a lot, of, it depends, he has his elbow up, so there wouldn't mm. be any oh, pressure right. on the elbow, right. but it could, it could like compact his neck and, mm. and, elbow, and shoulder in, so. Okay. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, I guess if you have all the armor as well, it yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. makes, makes it everything tight. tight. Right. 
he's doing like a, this because this is what I actually did in my first company. This is not this is Standing something you should up. not do. Stand this up, is, right? And then this is how I lost exactly. Still, he he had enough kind of posture and and space to be able to create this distance, and you can see mm. like Aaron is losing him. Mm. But he, what he should have done, pull onto the head. Right. That's so he he missing. couldn't have he couldn't have stood up. Right. But he's leaving his arms in place, mm. and and as you stand up and you leave your arms in, mm. uh, what's going to happen next is what what's going to happen to you. You're going to get armbarred, mm. right? So Aaron realizes it, turns the thumb down, oh, no, and then shifts into forward. the oh, yeah, yeah. So turns the like, thumb up, and then elbow right. comes down, mm. kicks the leg over, and shifts into a nice armbar. Nice. So it's, again, really makes sense. Pretty yeah, it's pretty solid technique. I mean, you're in triangle, you stand up, you leave the arms behind, mm -hmm. you're going to get armbarred, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's going belly down as well, but he's kind of he's leaning back, pulling him in, and then yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense how he ends he kind of ends up on his belly. Right, kind of doesn't make sense how they end up there. Yeah, right. Unless like Reiner just dives in, mm -hmm. he goes for the armbar and he dives to the ground, which right. would not make any sense. Right. Yeah. More well, likely options would have been he finished from the close guard mm -hmm. or from like uh, kneeling position, mm -hmm. or Reiner on his back mm. and him in like a, just a really calm and basic armbar position. I guess it's interesting that it does seem like the anime depicts uh, Reiner really being like just a brute. Yeah, he, he, he's kind of the classic muscular white belt, I guess. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, cuts off the armor, gains some speed. Right. I think this is where he goes into like a full-on double leg. Mm -hmm. Double oh, legs okay. him into the... So that was kind of a... Kind of like a rugby tackle double leg right. with a lot of momentum behind it. Mm. Again. Not a level change or nothing, but still he kind of just grinds through him. So not really high level technique, but it does make sense to go for the two legs. He goes for the two legs, picks him up, throws him to the wall. Mm. Yeah. Has a lot of force behind it, so I guess Again, it makes sense. Guy. Uh, this one's nice. He goes to like a 50-50 position and then he switches into an X card, I think. Almost. He leaves the... So he kind of went into a single leg X card, mm. but I think... He had both legs on the outside, which would mean it would be like a 50-50, right? But all of a sudden he switched into the X, leaving one on, on top of the, on the hip. So he almost has like a single leg X, but this one, the, the right leg, should have been in between the legs. Mm. Yeah. But still, I have never seen X card uh, in anime or, oh, any, or any, t any TV shows at all. So it's, it's not a lot of people know that card mm. in a way. If you're not doing jujitsu, you don't, you don't relate to this, what's happening here. Right. So I think it's pretty cool. So he kicks him so away, he, he uses the leverage, kicks him away and stands up. Which okay. is, which makes is, sense, right? Yeah, good job. Drives through him and he counters pretty well. Mm. Catches him in a close guard and has the, the guillotine there wrapped in. So again, what, what Aaron does completely makes sense. Like, yeah. close guard, guillotine. Wrap shot. it around. Of course, mm. you want to keep the distance sort of sprawl first and then try mm. to get the head. But he's getting caught. Has an, has an arm in guillotine though. Those are, as you can see, his left is mm. going around and over. Reiner's. Sense? It makes a lot of sense. However, it's it's a lot like more difficult to finish. Right. Especially if you're just going brute force, which is what Aaron does now. He he just clinches together and goes right. brute force like a right. like you're doing a deadlift. Right. If you have the head and arm, it's a lot more difficult because you're trying to close off both arteries, mm -hmm. right? So you want to rotate to the side, and then start turning your elbow underneath you, mm -hmm. which is what Aaron does not do. <laughs> if you have the guillotine, you would much rather have the arm out, and just mm -hmm. go like for a high elbow or whatever, and then you can kind of brute force mm -hmm. it more. I don't think Titans have arteries, I guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I guess he's just, the pressure makes sense. He's just mm -hmm. putting a lot of pressure on the neck. Everyone's been there as well. Mm. Strong white belt guy squeezing your head as, yeah. as hard as possible, and you just you know it's not a choke, but everything's right. popping, yeah, 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 and you don't yeah. want to tap. So she, Mikasa cuts the legs, yeah. and that... That makes sense, right? Because it, you yeah. can't put pressure forward, forward or, or kind of stand up or tripod. Right. Your defense, if, if somebody goes in a, like a guillotine from close guard, you want a tripod and, and take a lot of strain off the neck. Mm. If he's able to kind of spread you and make distance from your neck and hips, and you're going to have a bad time. And now he's, <laughs> he's basically doing a neck crank, right? Yeah, he's, he's, just, just, like... he's just squeezing. Mm. Now he's doing the muscular white belt moves. Right. Squeeze as tight as possible. But it, I guess it, in a way it makes sense because if, if we, like as you said, like if titans don't have arteries, then if you, it makes sense to try to break off the neck. Yeah, if you're trying to, if your sole purpose is to try to like create pressure, I right. guess this, this makes a lot of sense. I remember the first time I was watching this, I was like so hyped. I went to the gym, so I went to the gym the day after and showed everybody the scene. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ryan are coming back to the tripod, but he's trying to walk him forward things. Oh, but he's like, off, yeah. like he's setting it up. Setting up. Uh, right. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make sense. Yeah. No, Bernard's going to dive in and save the day. Yeah. I was so upset about that. Yeah. I was like, damn it. He was doing I, so well. I thought it was going to get him. Yeah, me too. I was like, yes. I thought and this then. was going to be the first, first win. So so this one is season three. Right. Yes, season three. Where he's, he, he's back home. Reiner was in the wall hiding. This this punch, I mean, it does kind of Rotate try to body, show the dynamics yeah. of the punch. It's, it's amazingly animated, at, l at least. Like yeah. Everything is so well animated. Right. So enjoyable. It was so uh, fun to watch great Reiner scene. being yeah. smashed. <laughs> I still liked him. I kind of rooted for him. Really? Too, oh. in, a, in a way. He was like, yeah. I, yeah. While you kind of did not know what was happening, and there was like two sides to the story, you obviously knew. True. True, 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 true. Mm. Low, yeah, low ankle pick there. Makes sense. Yeah, in a way. I mean, it's weird how it happened though. He kind of ankle Stives dive. He just right. dives and grabs the low ankle pick. Oh, and, <laughs> and then from <laughs> usually you would just kind usually of, just uh, pick it up and, and, right, and you can turn it into a single or a double, right. but or or yeah, he would just fall. But right, right. usually won't pick him up and slam. Him yeah. <laughs> Hulk mode. I, I think I think we're I think we're getting a good scene now. Okay, goes in for wrist control. Okay. I think this is where he attacks the Kimura. He remembers Jiu Jitsu. Yep. Oh, there we go. Goes in, locks the Kimura. Turns on the side. Oh, everything's right. Keeps his keeps okay. his opponent's hand behind his back, taking all his muscle power away from him. On so, the, so the only thing is kind of the legs. I right. mean, he's, he's locked in a half guard kind of way. Right. Whereas he, he would want to have his right leg either on top of Ryan's back or in like a close guard, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he has the half guard, attacks the far side. It's better out. than nothing, right? Yeah. Good. So good. Everything's locked in tight. Yeah. He's even crunching up like he should, mm -hmm. not laying flat on the back. So we're back in pretty good jujitsu. Yeah. Right? Guy who coordinated the jujitsu probably no, knows no, what he's no, doing. Stuff. Yeah. 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 It looks like Aaron kind of kicks him and pushes. Oh yeah, true. Like he. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. He, he should have. He should have kept tight and, and got on top and right. finished him from there. In a way, he, he lost a great great uh, position there. Mm -hmm. I think it ends by just yeah, being... That's, that's it. And then they, they spear him to death. Or yeah. not to... Yeah, 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 he survives, yeah. but... Yeah, I hated that. I was like, damn, just yeah, I die! I thought they got him as well. Die! Just die. 